another awesome day. Yeah. So this morning, you know, my kids were like, Mama, can I get outside? Yes, yes, yes we go. can. We can all get outside. I will check the yes box on this one. It won't be muddy. We've been allowed to dry out. That rain from over the weekend has soaked in for the most part. You don't need to wear a coat today, and the sunglasses are necessary, too. Tons and tons of sunshine, and our temperatures are rising pretty quickly compared to where we started this morning, 29 in Bedford. We had some widespread deep freezing conditions and some frost too. 39 in Boston, plus a little bit of fog early this morning too, around Norwood, around Dedham. Well, now all that is long gone, of course, but the next several mornings, we will have the chance to see some frost in areas unlikely for tonight. But Thursday morning, the low is expected to get down to 28 degrees. In Boston, we may be close to the low 30s. 28 degrees, though, in the suburbs, easily. Light freeze for Friday morning. After that, it looks like we make a turn. The overall while weather pattern looks consistently milder, even for our overnight lows. So hold off in the gardening just yet. Still got to wait a couple weeks or so as we still have some frosty mornings with those sensitive plants to uh, contend with. But 53 degrees right now in Boston. It's a beautiful day. Southeast wind eventually becomes southerly, and that will help to get our highs into the low and mid 60s across the Merrimack Valley, southern New Hampshire, even interior parts of Mass. 60 in Boston, some low 50s expected, though, as we go to towards the south coast thanks to more of that onshore wind, but no sea breezes kicking in around Boston. And tonight, the full pink moon rises at 734. Make sure you have the, uh, the camera gear ready. It's officially full at 749, and the moon is not going to look pink. It's actually going to appear kind of orangish or reddish. The nickname is actually from Native Americans across the United States back in the day, way a long time ago. It was named for native pink wildflowers that bloomed this time of the year across the U.S. So cool stuff. And it's going to be a beautiful night for that full moon, but eventually the clouds roll in, and it's going to help to keep us actually milder compared to what we had last night with the clouds acting like a blanket to trap in some of that daytime heat. And tomorrow, believe it or not, with more clouds around and the shower chances, we're still going to reach the low 60s in a lot of spots thanks to a gusty southwest wind. Here's some of the rain timing. No showers for today. Still some lingering clouds for the Outer Cape and Nantucket through this evening. And then that moon is up after that moon rise, about 7.30 tonight. And then opposite, at just after sunset, it's going to be a beautiful sky as those upper-level clouds start to move in. Overnight tonight, we avoid the rain chance and through tomorrow morning it's dry but some of these showers develop and move in by noontime by 1 p.m. notice how very isolated they are by afternoon the cold front has yet to move through and so I expect a chance for some of these pop-up showers and thunder showers to develop too not expecting severe weather but there is the chance to listen to some thunder maybe a flash of lightning with any of those isolated storms uh, similar to what we had Saturday where we had the morning rain chance and then by the afternoon we had those sneaky pop-up showers and thunder showers, something like that. As her rainfall amounts, barely anything. A tenth of an inch of rain, that's not very impressive. So another dry stretch settles in after that. We do cool off significantly, 54 for Thursday. And Boston's low for Thursday morning, 34. Again, suburbs will hit a deep freeze with 20s for lows. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there you go. Here's a warm-up on the way. 70s, just in time for at least part of the weekend.